Hi guys, um, I'm quite excited putting this video together for you. I'm going to be showing you my summer nail art. So I've got six designs to show you that I've done. Um, the first one is a gradient and it's a neon gradient and I used um, two model zones polishes. I used fluoro orange and tangerine queen, which are these two here. And on top of those, I put this Nina holographic top coat. Um, and hopefully, I have got used to editing, so there should be the picture inserted here for you to see. I get a bit messy doing these ones. I really need to get some liquid latex and stuff. But I really enjoy doing the gradients, and I really like how they look. But sometimes, I do find them a bit difficult to do. But I was quite pleased with how this one turned out. So that's the first design. The second design was uh, Dotter Cure, and the idea for this I got from Ali Yvette's uh, summer collab video. Um, so I used Seattle's Cream Soda as the base, which is a grey, and I used two more of the Model Zone Neons to do the dots with. So I used um, Bikini and Bubblegum which are those two. The camera's struggling a bit with bubble gum because it is quite bright. Um, but I use those to do the dots with and rather than just doing a normal one, I sort of mixed it up a bit. So that's the second design. For the third design, I did a glitter gradient and I used Viva Antigua. I did say this was coming up in a video soon, so here it is. Uh, it's a really pretty colour. I really enjoyed wearing this, Manny. And um, I, the glitter I used was just Barry M's Aqua Glitter. These again can be quite difficult to get the glitter on, but I, I did, it did take me a while. I did it really carefully, um, but I managed to get it, and yeah, I was really pleased with that one. Um, the next one I did was some stamping. It didn't turn out quite how I'd have liked. I was trying to use two different neons, but I really need to get some better stamping polishes. Really enjoy, enjoying doing the stamping at the moment. Um, I used for this, I used Model Zone Sun Hat on top of a white base. Um, I was going to use the brighter pink, but I just couldn't get it, the stamper to pick up the images. So, um, and these are really the only neon polishes that I've got are the Model Zone ones. So yeah, I really need to get some stamping polishes. But even though it wasn't quite what I wanted, it didn't turn out too bad. So um, yeah, so it wasn't as bad as I'd have thought. Um, then I also did a French tip style manicure. Um, I did this before, if you follow me on Twitter, I think my photo on there, um, Not my, there's obviously photo of me and then the photo behind that is the sort of this sort of style so for this one I use clean color blue hollow as a base and for the tips I use Barry M pale blue mine has gone a bit thick now so um, they do look a bit a bit you can see they're a bit thicker than they probably should be um, but it seemed to go well with that one so that was another pretty one that I did and the final one I got to show you was my July 4th nails. This was a bit of a, a last minute thing, I have to admit. So I just used my Conad stamping polishes for this one and added the Stars and Stripes French tips to my nails um, on top of a white base. So quite a simple one, but I just felt that I wanted to do one. So I added that one in there for you as well. Um, I hope you liked all of these designs. I, I really enjoyed putting this together for you. Um, I think this is quite a good thing that I'll be able to do because I'm quite into my nail art and things at the moment so there's several sort of times of the year that this will fit into so I'll be able to do it at like Halloween uh, next probably, you know, autumn, winter or there's loads of things that you can do nail art for. So look out for more of these videos if you enjoyed this one. Thanks everyone for watching and for subscribing and I will see you next time. Bye!